vlog. As you can see, I'm in a bed that is not mine because I'm in Cornwall. So last night I came up to Cornwall with Kelsey, aka Kelsey in London. You'll remember her from a few other vlogs. <laughs> she can probably hear me right now. Um, so we came up to Cornwall. We are currently on a press week with Hoban Holidays. Um, we're at one of their lodges. So we're at their luxury park, actually, because, you know, your girl loves a little bit of luxury. Um, so I'm staying in this lodge with Kelsey and there's like other lodges outside. The park is actually closed right now for refurbishment. So we have the park all to ourselves, which is really nice. Um, and we're going to do a bunch of activities. So I'm going to get up because it's seven o'clock and we have to be ready by nine. Um, so I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna give you a little tour before we completely wreck the gaff because know me, I'll have my clothes everywhere in a few days. So let me show you around. So when you come in, we basically have this like a living room situation going on over here, which is very nice. We also have this cute little fire. I'm hoping we can get some firewood and have like a cute little nighttime. We have TV on the wall, dining space, full on kitsch right here. So we have microwave, oven. We even have like a little wine cooler, which is very cute. And then bedroom number one is over here. I think it's probably end up in my room. So we've got a large double bed for me and an on suite uh love it on suite we also have over here like a whole little wardrobe setup kind of thing and a mirror here for my makeup which is kind of ideal so yeah two which is pretty similar to the first one we've got a nice little double bed it actually separates i guess so if you had like babies you could have two beds and then we have out here the main event the hot tub yes babies and then we have a walk-in wardrobe. So this room is um, slightly bigger because we've got a walk-in wardrobe area. And then we have a bathroom. Oh, this bathroom has a bathtub too. So yeah, and double sinks. So this is probably mum and dad. If you were mum and dad, this would be a room. Yeah. Okay, we are out and about. We are at the Lost Gardens of Heligan for our first stop of the day and we're going for like a kind of like a nature walk which is very good because i need to get my steps in got got ember here my little companion and kelsey's over here my other companion hey. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna set out you, how many steps are you gonna do probably like a casual ten thousand a casual ten thousand there's laura oh she's ready for it she's ready for the cuddles so i've adopted a dog her name is amber no, i'm joking this is Lisa's little dog. She's coming for us with us for the day. Ember. Oh, she's very alert. Hey, Ember. Amber alert. Amber alert. Amber alert. Amber alert. That, that, that's you know a, that that's for missing children. Yeah, exactly. But she's so, a dog. Swag. <laughs> Salad for lunch. It just kind of blobbed out. Right, it's lunch time, guys. And um, stick, stick into the diet, healthy salad. Oh, it's a bit hard now. Is, this, is that fennel? Um, yeah, I think so. Mm. Okay, so since we are in a self-catering lodge, we decided to stop by the shops and pick up some snacks and bits because we have a few days where we're just going to be having dinner at home. Okay guys, so we are back at the lodge. I am just resting because I felt really, really car sick from the, that drive. That's something to be aware of that the roads are really windy up here in Cornwall. So like if you have car sickness like me, it can be a bit of a problem. However, um, in about an hour, we're gonna go for some beach yoga, which should be very fun. Um, so I'm gonna get changed and have a little snack and get ready for some yoga. Okay, so we have got to I think it's Plitzlith Beach is how you say it. I'm probably butchering that. Um, and the sun is actually out. It looks like it's gonna be a really nice day. And we're gonna have a bit of beach yoga. So I'm quite excited. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm just walking back to all our stuff. After yoga, we decided to run down to the beach side and just kind of wet our feet, pop a bottle of Prosecco, because you know, girl loves some Prosecco. And now we're gonna go for a chilled dinner, but honestly, it's really lovely out here. I've got bare feet and everything. Sun is like about to set behind me. Just loving the Cornwall life. So as you can see, I am back at the loft, um, just chillaxing. We, I'm so tired. It's almost 10 o'clock. We've just got back. We had a lovely little like dinner and stuff, but I'm absolutely exhausted. I think we did like 14,000 steps today. So it's not even like that strenuous. However, I'm really tired. So I'm going to hit the hay and then tomorrow, tomorrow we have quite a chill day. So I probably won't see you to the next day, but in a bit guys. Good morning, guys. So it is another wonderful day in Cornwall. As you can see, I'm on the roadside already. Um, and we are heading to Tin Tajil Castle. I don't know much about it. I just know it's a very important place in history. So let's go. I'm also gonna try a Cornish pasty today, which will be really fun. Tin, I saw your face, like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Tin Off we go. <laughs> so I got a traditional Cornish pas oh, pasty oh, yeah. and I'm going to try it for the first time. So me and Sandy are trying it together <laughs> at the same time. Let's go. Let's try it. Cornish pasty. No, I said pasty. It's definitely not a breakfast food. I'll go right now. Yeah, it's not a breakfast food for sure. I think it's not as good as a steak, babe. <laughs> It's not bad, but the potatoes are the potatoes are okay. It's very early in the morning for this, yeah. I think that I'm gonna give this a, a generous five out of ten. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna get murdered in the streets for saying this in Cornwall, but it's it's not for me. Pepper, I would be a confident six and a half, but if you're missing a bit of salt and pepper. So you're giving me a six. But, yeah, six. Which is me being like imagining more pepper. Sandy's definitely being generous. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> about to go to a gin tasting um, and a like fancy dinner so I'm a little more fancy today and I'm more tracksuit um, but however I think I need a pin to pin that together or I have to put a top underneath but this is my new suit I'm in love I don't really normally wear blue so much but you girls feeling it it's from Naked Fashion <laughs> Okay guys, so we have got to Tarquin's Gin, which is a Cornish gin, and it's gin o'clock. I'm gonna start with dried strawberries. Oh, nice. So we're also gonna add some hibiscus and some rose. It's too much alcohol. I'm joking, I'm joking. The cocktail number two of the day. So this is a navy gin, 57%, which get me smashed. 
Oh, this is nice. Right, so I'm going to try my gin for the second time. This is the heart, but apparently the more it diffuses, the more you can taste the different flavors. So I've got a little bit of gin here. It smells very florally. Oh, we can taste the lemon now. with potato and fish and garlic. Yeah. Quite honestly, I'm drunk at this point, so I'll eat anything. I thought these were prawn fritters, but they just, there's normal, they're like prawns in batter. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. This would just be good with some sweet chili. It doesn't need, I don't know what this is. It doesn't taste. Salsa. Is it a salsa? It's salsa, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't taste like salsa. I don't know what this is. What? I don't know what it tastes like, but it's not salsa. Chinese. Okay, I'm having some of Kelsey's sashimi. I mean, you can't really go go wrong with sashimi. It just tastes what it is. Like, there's no extra. Good. Sandy has got this peculiar dish. It's oysters and sausages. <laughs> I am not for, for the, I can't do this, but she can, so. I can, yeah. Sh show the people what they want Okay, to so the menu said, first you take an oyster, basically. So first you have an oyster. Then you have a bit of sausage. Surely not with this fork, but, okay, that's good. Huh? And you go, literally, go put down with a glass of white wine. Oh, sip of white wine. And then you have the full-on experience. For me, I'm gonna be honest, it was fun, but the sausage overpowers the oyster. <laughs> so no good. No, I mean, it's delicious, but I'd rather have either or. So you heard it here first, guys. Oyster and sausages, no go. So halloumi. Because I really, I really love scones. Can't go wrong, really. I wish I had like any white fish. Get in my belly. Potatoes. Oh. These potatoes are so good. They're like marinated in like garlic sometimes. So I'm ending my meal with a Moscato, it's my favorite thing in the world. Oh, it's nice and sweet. I got Sandy to order it too. Let's just see her reaction first. Yeah, you're representing that. Oh, it's good though. Ah. It's more like a fruit juice. Yeah. <laughs> fruit juice. That's where you get into trouble. <laughs> like a kick. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. Love that for me. Love that for me. Cheers. Okay guys, so we are back at the lodge and I'm in my PJs as you can see because I'm getting, I'm packing up because we're going home. But before I give my last final thoughts on the trip, I thought I would share my little haul with you. So I actually picked up in that little cute store some rocks. I got a few different flavors. This one has always been my favorite. It's like a um, spearminty, peppermint flavor. Um, love this. And then I got this for my mom because she likes these flavors and then these for my niece and nephews. Then I also got um, a clot clotted cream and a vanilla fudge because this is supposed to be like a delicacy here, I guess. So one last try for the vlog. Right, so this is clotted cream fudge. It just tastes like pure sugar. Like genuinely pure sugar. Like it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, but I generally don't think I could eat more than those two bites. It's so sweet. 
Okay, so I've got vanilla fudge here. Not far off the cottage cream, to be honest. It's a little less um, sugary sweet than the cottage cream, I'd say. But still, I don't eat a whole piece because it's like vanilla, but that is heart attack in a cube. That is so much sugar. Sadly, Cornwall is over. It was really 72 hours in Cornwall. I don't know why I said a week, because really and truly, we're only spending three days here. We head home super early tomorrow, and we got here late on Monday. So, 72 hours in Cornwall is up. Um, I had a really lovely time. The activities were so fun. Um, just a small rundown on the lodge, just in case you needed any, inform any information. So, the lodge is Hoban lodges so hoban holidays and this particular lodge that we are staying in is the saint maven site so this site is a lot quieter than some of the other sites it's kind of more geared at a more relaxed time in cornwall and then they have a lot of partners who they advertise activities with such as a lot of things that we did while we were here so i definitely been hearing coming down here as an option for cornwall somewhere to stay super comfortable super affordable but on more on the luxury end side than some of the other lodges that you may have seen before um the park is kid friendly and dog friendly so if either of those things definitely good for you to bring down um things that you need to know are i definitely recommend having a car if you come here because driving around there are so many things to do in the cornwall area um and even getting to things at the local supermarket as this is self-catering a car is highly recommended we are around 20 minutes from the local station um if you do get the train down um however you'd have to get a taxi which can be quite expensive um yeah as i said it's self-catering as you know kitchen is equipped we cooked most of our breakfasts here um i had one or two dinners here and then what else do you need to know i think that's, I think that's kind of it um so yeah this was a really nice time if you want any more information or if you are considering booking the link is in my bio and if you have any questions feel free to ask like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next one guys